previously on Surviving Sliptopia. Here they are. All right, so let's check it out. This is supposed to be like an amazing thing. I don't know what it does though. We're not really sure. Oh, no way. Are you kidding me? What is up the world? Wait, what, wait, what, what is up the world? It is your friendly neighborhood Slipgator here, hanging out today, doing stuff and things on the official Sliptopia modded server. I hope you guys are having a good day. I'm having a really good day. Want to start off today by saying thank you guys so much for all your support in the last video. We got a thousand likes. We're going to shoot for that again here. So make sure if you like the video, you hit the like button. And yeah, I'm really excited to be back playing Sliptopia, just hanging out, doing some stuff and things. I was harvesting up some plants, leveling up my anima skill. Or whatever that does. I don't even know yet. I gotta, I gotta look that thing up. But yeah, so in the last episode, we made it to the nether. We got our glowstone. Now, you didn't see it on camera, but I went ahead and did it. Um, so we have it down here, and now we can take a, a second and go ahead and build our lightsaber. We got it right there. We got all the stuff in here for the lightsaber. We have the saber blade, the lightsaber handle, the cell battery. And then what was the last thing we had to make there? Well, let's go ahead and take a look here um, in the lightsabers mod. And let me see the red light cell. Yeah, that was the last thing we had to build. And I do believe I got the stuff and things we need here. Oh, wait, no, we're going to need to go and harvest a couple of different flowers. So, yeah, anyway, hope you guys are having a good day. I'm having a really good day. But doing a little bit of flying around. We're going to take a look at a couple new things today. I don't really have a super big plan for what we're going to do. But yeah, we're going to figure something out that's cool. I figured we'd start off with a lightsaber and then see where that kind of took us from there. Um, went around in the nether for quite a while. I wanted to find that Infernus. That it, I do believe that's the name of the mod. And try to get some of the infernal armor stuff and things. Now, what ended up happening is I went in there and I probably looked around for, I don't know, half an hour, maybe 40 minutes or something like that. And I couldn't find even one of them. Now, I know that it's a rare mob, but I got to tell you guys, if it takes that long to get it, I'm not necessarily super interested in worrying about it. So um, we'll see how it goes. Maybe we'll look at it, look for it in the future. Um, but yeah, I've been reading a little, up a little bit about Advent of Ascension, and I think we're going to play around with it a little bit more. Of course, definitely want to start to try to get some building stuff and things done. And I'm finding out that the Advent of Ascension mobs don't really act the way regular vanilla mobs do. Torching up this area isn't going to help necessarily, as you can see right here with spawns. And so we may have to try to take more drastic measures and try to get something else going on here. But yeah, all right, let's take a look at this. So plus 15 attack damage. And if we look in our battle gear menu, this thing, the Sapphire Sword, is a little bit better. This guy only has 55 durability. It really kind of stinks. It doesn't seem like it's that cool, but I figured we'd try it out. Oh man, it doesn't even make a woom woom noise. Woom. Zoom, zoom. All right, let's go ahead down here and take a man as a man right now. So, oh, wait, was that one of those guys? Where's that little guy over here? Where's that reindeer? There you are, man. Oh, oh. All right, so it's not bad. It's not bad. The durability on it, though. I mean, give me a break, guys. Unfortunately, super fun thing. It's kind of cool to have in the pack, but Advent of Ascension just outclasses it almost instantly. That's almost Lee uses 1335. But the Sapphire Sword's definitely better. But we have a lightsaber to play around with. And eventually what we're going to do, once we start figuring out where our canvas is going to be and doing all that sort of stuff, we're going to make a little area where we're going to have, like, displays for all the different weapons and all the different armor and stuff and things like that. So, all right. I'm just going to pull a couple of items out of here like so. And then I also wanted today to fly over and check out this new thing that we found. What do we have for food? We got the fiery chops that we got in the nether. We're going to squirt all this stuff away. Keep our harvesting gold staff of lightning and our confectioner's gold figurine of armor. But a man becomes a bird. And there was this new thing I found in the ocean. You can see it on the map right here called Under Underwater Thingy Doodler. So I figured we'd fly out and take a look at that and see what it was. And we're back. There's one of the ocean monuments right over there. There's actually two of them in the area. There's another ocean monument right here and one of these. They're underwater thingy doodlers right there. And I think I saw another one around here somewhere. I didn't mark it because it was super close. But anyway, let's go ahead and head down here and see what we got going on. I'm wondering if this is Advent of Ascension stuff and things. So it looks like there's some spawners down here. It looks like there's like a little bit of destruction down here. What's this stuff? What are these guys? Amphi... Amphibiite? Oh, oh! Are you a bad guy? Oh! Oh, oh! First of all, I'm drowning. A man is drowning, though, as a bird. Alright, let's head back down here. Oh, oh! Wow, you're a quick little guy! 
Oh, it looks like I can't hit it. Oh, oh! No, I can't hurt it. I'm not getting a little message. I think I may have changed the config and get the chat thing was turned off. But um, uh, let's go ahead. Actually, options, uh, controls. No. Let me go ahead and turn it back on here and let's see what's going on with this. It was spamming over my or underneath my map, so I figured I'd just turn the chat off. No, no, no. There we we need more experience to kill this thing. So unfortunately, that stinks. Um, we're gonna have to get more hunter scale. Now we're up to level 21 in hunter now. But I know some of these mobs take a lot more, like 50, 60, something like that. So um, we're going to need a lot more Hunter. I don't think we're going to necessarily have to bother anymore with the end, like I said, and finding those Infernaces. Um, I'm thinking maybe it's time just to do a little bit of mining, collect some resources. But also, one of the other things I want to take a look at is building the teleporter thing that can take us to all the different dimensions. Um, and I hear, if I'm not mistaken, that the Haven dimension is like the easiest one. So I'm thinking that we might go ahead and try to get that thing built today. I'm not sure if we can, um, but I'm going to look into it, and I'll be our bees, peeps. And we're back. All right, so I think I know what's going on here. Did a little bit of reading. I'm interested to test this out. I didn't really watch anything. I just went to the advent of Ascension Wiki and kind of checked it out. So we need the ancient teleporter blueprint. It creates an ancient teleporter. We'll locate player at the center. Warning needs five by six in each direction. Let's go ahead and get that guy right here. And then we're going to grab one of the... Oh, wait. They're in here. The Haven Realm Stones. So we're going to grab two of them. Um, we don't think we want to go to those other places. It doesn't sound like too good of a deal for us. Now, we need a 5x5x6 five by five by in every direction in order to make this happen. So let's go ahead, maybe, and see if over in a this early direction we got the spot. We got enough, place, uh, enough space to do this. Maybe right down over in here. Let's just go ahead and break that. Oh, baby! <laughs> oh, the music was crazy cool! All right, that's rad. So then we've got carved rune, carved rune. It must be over here that we use the rune stone. Or what is this thing even called? The realm stone. All right, let's go ahead and take a look. Are we just... Ooh! <laughs> I like how the music just cuts out there. That's pretty crazy, man. That portal looks awesome. All right, let's go ahead and let's head through and see what happens. Ooh. Ooh. We got our Haven Realm Stone. Ooh, it looks like stuff and things are happening. Oh, no, no, no. All right, a man becomes a bird. We're gonna fly around a little bit. It looks like the server is having a little bit of an issue. Stuff and things are happening. It's just kind of loading in. I don't know if it's like little islands or if it's just loading in like really slow. It might just be kind of like island stuff and things. This place looks crazy cool though, man. It looks like some crazy mobs around here too. I'm a little bit Freaked. Man, this mod's having of ascension so amazing. What are you guys? Aut automaton. Oh, it doesn't. Oh, oh, I'm taking damage. I'm taking damage. Oh, what is that? Oh my god. Scared the crap out of me, man. Sneaker. Sneaky McSneakerton. Was snuck right up on me. Was sneaking around. What's this stuff? Crystallite ore. Okay, I like crystallite ore. I, th I think. All right, that gave us some stuff and things. Oh, crystallite stone. This is used for some armors and stuff. Ooh, a better sword. Cool. Crystallite sword. We can make this different armor. Utopian leggings. Grants massively increased healing in water. Hmm, okay. Looks like that's the same thing. We can make uh, some aesthetic stuff and things, it looks like. And yeah, just an interesting set of armor. All right, that's pretty cool. So we got to go ahead. We got to pop over here real quick. I am uh, kind of surprised that this is just kind of like this land of like weird floaty islands. It's pretty crazy. Let's go up here. Waypoints. Uh, no, wait. New waypoint. Out. Let's call it Haven Out. Let's call it Haven Out. Like this. All right. Nailed it. All right. So we got our Haven Out point now. Let's go ahead and check out this guy. Dude, this looks crazy, man. What are you? Oh, he's like pushing me away from him. Oh, I can't get close. Orbiter. Oh, I just killed it in an instant. What did you drop, Orbiter thingy? Oh, just a couple of these coin guys. Oh, oh, oh. Angelic? Oh, weird, man. There's all sorts of crazy mobs here. 
Now I hear this dimension is probably supposed to be like the easiest of them. It also seems cool that I can get back through the portal. Like that makes me feel really good because I was reading a little bit about what was going on in here and nothing really kind of said like how you got back when you came here. So um, yeah, seems like this is good. Oh, there's one guy, a little white guy. Oh, what are you? Why are you mad at them? What is that? Who's throwing those? What is that, man? I can't even see what it is. Oh, what are these guys? Oh, this is so cool, man. Oh, I see the thing. Haven gems. This guy right here has got a super long range. What are you, dude? Oh, and there's like a black orbiter thing. Oh, this guy doesn't want me to get near him either. A Valar? No, 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 no. We're done, buddy. Oh, I got him. You're dead, Valar. Oh, these mobs are crazy cool. Now, I don't... Do I have my bowl thing on me? Uh, let's go in here. Crap, oh, I don't have it with me. I'm assuming... I see you, sneaker. I'm assuming you gotta use your bowl on... Uh, maybe. Oh, dude, these guys are tough. Oh, wrong sword. Maybe you gotta use your bowl on these things, too? Oh, shiny pit. Oh, 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 those guys are like the opposite of orbiters. Those guys sucked me in. Oh, this doesn't seem good at all, man. This seems really dangerous. I got, yeah, that wasn't good. All right, so there's a lot of really crazy and cool mobs. I don't know what else there is to be had around here. I think I'm just gonna have a fly around and check some stuff and things out and then I'll BRBs, peeps. And we're back in the overworld and I died. Thankfully, I made a trip back here really quickly and dropped off, oh, where did I put that stuff? Some of these crystallite stones and I also dropped off some of those haven. Um, I think I stuck them, did I stick them up here? Some of the haven gems. I made a trip back because I just had a feeling. There's those flying guys, the Volus, I think they are called, um, that were killing us. And we're looking for a Voliant, I do believe, which drops a special heart. And they're supposed to be even tougher. So one of the things, we lost all those special trinkets. I'm only going to be carrying iron armor and stuff and this pickaxe now. Everything in my battle gear slots, I'm not going to drop. I made the new sword thing. The new crystallite sword. Actually, let's float down here. A man becomes a man. Oh, I think I just gave something away. But a man becomes a man. And we have the vault, this sword now. Looks pretty pretty cool, pretty awesome looking. And uh, it does a little bit of extra damage, so it's good to go. But we've been being a bird for a while, but we figured out a way that we can be have flight and not lose a huge amount of hearts. We have the same amount of hearts as a man now because we are a blaze. So, yeah, we lost all of our stuff over in a viscerally direction, and the Vol- the Volus, I think they're called Volus, the little flying blue guys, they have like a boss kind of type dude called a Voliant, and uh, those guys drop hearts that we can use um, in one of these special buildings I'm going to show you up here. So we got to be really careful. Also, it looks like you have regeneration in this dimension all the time, which is pretty cool. Um, but you need it. You need it. It's really dangerous. You know, I was thinking, I'm like, this is supposed to be like the easiest kind of like first dimension, man. Everything in Advent of Ascension is super, super tough, man. It's crazy. So um, up in this area, I think we should. Where's our death point over here? We got to be really careful. Those Volant things or Volus things, they do a lot of damage. Their aim is really terrible but they're really, really scary. So, all right, up here is our death point. There's one of these things. So um, our corpse just fell into the void. So there's no way to get any of that stu that awesome stuff back. And so we're just gonna have to be really careful in the future. Um, I don't know if eventually we'll be able to soul bound that stuff, but this is the thing I wanted to show you right here. I have no idea what to expect in here, but this is like the, whatever it is. Oh, what is this? What is this? Haven glass. Oh, it makes like crazy noise. Oh, it just breaks. Okay, we just destroyed the special haven glass. So then down here, I mean, can we just harvest these blocks or no? Oh, baby. Let's see. Oh, oh, I hear something that sounds like an ender girl. Oh, it looks like they're just... Oh, I broke it. I did break it. Whitewash bricks. So we can't break it. But I think what it wants me to do is just come down here now. I can't go... Oh, oh, there's something in there. I can't tell if I can attack it or not. Come here, man. Oh, oh, I can't go in there as a blaze. Um, a man becomes a man. And let's see if we can attack these guys. No, no, no. I'm a man now. Oh, I can't hit it. I can't hit it. Oh, crap. We can't do anything in this dimension. We don't have a high enough hunter skill yet. Oh, oh. Fallen thing. Flight. Make it a flight thing. Oh, da -da -da. zerp, zerp. Where are you, guy? They fought. These guys shoot from so far away. Their aim, like I was saying, is terrible. Oh, oh, baby. See, 
but they hit you really, really hard. And we're back, and I think we've been going about this a little bit wrong. I think we're trying to kind of headbutt our way through Advent of Ascension, and I think that really what we're discovering is that we've just got to kind of take things a little bit slower. I haven't been spending enough time in the mine. I haven't been spending enough time just gathering up some resources, getting some stuff and things so that I can build better gear, you know, stuff and things like that. Now, down inside of here, because again, the Advent of Ascension mobs don't follow any of the spawn rules, it's full pucker mode. I've come down here a couple of times to do some mining and everything is still like full of mobs. It looks like right now we're pretty safe. I brought down this guy, our totem tool from T-Zones. That way we can go ahead and start making some stuff and things into some better stuff and things like so. Um, and getting a lot more resources for it. Now redstone, for instance, not super, super important. Um, oh, Naquita, I definitely want to get that for when we get into the Stargate mod. But um, yeah, some of the stuff and things down here too, like the Runium and stuff, are like this, these guys. Definitely want to convert that. Oh, wait. Oh, weird. Can't do that, Iron R? Why not? Huh, that's odd. Is it because I'm trying to get it from the side? Let's see what's going on here. Let's pop this off. Oh, weird. I think it looks like, it's like you can't do it from the bottom. Is that for real? No, you got to do it from the side. But this way we can get a lot more stuff and things for anything that we're mining. So even though, you know, we do have to take and spend our time in the mines, which is fine, we get a lot more return for our investment. Just a lot easier to get seven things. So I'm thinking what I'm gonna do is kind of focus on getting some materials and looking into getting some better gear. Now, um, one of the things that I want to try to make was just that armor, oh, you can do it from the tops. That armor that we were just taking a look at with the crystallite. Uh, crystallite, this stuff here. Oh wait, uses. This armor right here, just to maybe to, to make it the first set, the utopian stuff, but we need this jade. I think you can get that under level 30. Um, so yeah, again, just kind of more mining. I want to get into making the magnet from practicalities. And like, I, I think just maybe take a couple of steps back and just kind of, you know, spend some time in the mine, man, getting stuff and things done. So I'm going to do that next and then I'll be our beast peeps. And we're back. I just was doing some mining guys. You got to check this guy out. I don't know what his name is. Bomb carrier, but he just carries around like how? How dangerous is this mod pack, man? He just comes around your base and just blows it up with TNT. Like, I can't even believe it, dude. No, 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 no. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. It's just wrecking me, wrecking my face. Oh, oh, squat. No, not squatches. Cyclopses. Unbelievable. What did he drop? Silver coins. Oh, a hunter's rifle. 10 damage. Very slow speed. Doesn't matter if it has very slow speed. I want to try it out. Hold on, let me see here. What do we got? Anybody, any bad guys around here? What's up, man? It's not firing. <laughs> it doesn't do anything. Range, wait, wait, wait. 10 ranged damage. It does, it's not firing. I'm not, maybe I need ammo or something like that? I'm not really sure exactly how it works. No, the other guns I've got so far just fire. So who knows what's going on with that. But I did do a bunch of mining. Oh, what are you thing? Oh, that's from practicalities. So I did do a bunch of mining. We got a bunch of stuff going on over here. Again, we're trying to maybe take a step back. I've been reading up on Advent of Ascension. I've been reading up on stuff and things. I got a bunch more furnaces going here now. Um, go ahead and take that TNT, squirt it in there. We will squirt our silver coins, which I haven't found yet. I'm, a, I'm assuming they're better. And we'll squirt those in there. It's a fixing to be night again here. Um, where's our gun gonna go? We'll squirt that in here for now. I got a bunch of stuff, more uh, lapis, more blocks of diamond, a bunch more iron, a bunch more of this. We're gonna sleep because it is terrible at night and super amazingly scary. So we're making some progress. We're making some progress. I started looking into kind of just paying more attention to, oh, Slip Gator was blown up by a Volar. Kind of paying more attention to what it is that we're gonna need to do to get a quarry online. Um, and I think the next kind of order of business is going to be to take and make some slabs. That's right, ladies and gentle peeps. We're going to go old school. Now, I do believe if we build our base. Now, I, I heard, and I don't know if they've changed this or not. I got a little bit of um, some glass going over in there, too. That if we build over Y level 64, we shouldn't get mob spawning. Now, I don't think that that's the case. 
we shouldn't get avid ascension mob spawning? I don't think that's the case because this is 67. And I think they're spawning like right around here, right? Like, it seems like that's the case. I mean, do they only spawn? I could be so totally wrong. I'm pretty sure I saw them spawning like right over in this area here. Of course, right now there isn't any. I know I've seen mobs like over in this area spawning and they're like 70. But I think what we're gonna do is we're end up building something um, up in the air somewhere. Now, there are also different biomes that we're supposed to kind of avoid that are more dangerous. I know that Savannah is one of those biomes. Um, I'm pretty sure that there's a book. I don't know if it's only in FDB Departed or if it's also, if it's just part of Advent of Ascension called How Not to Die. Um, I think it comes with feed to be, I can't believe this guy just wrecked all of our stuff. Stupid guy just wrecked our whole base, man. Um, oh, a, uh, a blaze is not like the water. So, um, I think there was a book in it that called how to, um, how to survive or how not, not to die. And I'm pretty sure I chucked it. And the reason that I chucked it away is because we have wood now. Oh, I made all of it into this. Um, it looked a lot like the open blocks beginning book. So I just kind of threw it thinking, nah, I won't need that. Um, and now I don't think I can find it in, let's go ahead and block this off. I can't find it in, um, in the mod pack anywhere. So I'm not sure if it's gone or not, but it gave me a little bit, it gives you a little bit of information about like um, building a little bit higher and what um, biomes you should be avoiding. Just some stuff and things like that. I just blocked up, I know, I know, I know. We'll fix this. We'll go get some more water and fill that back up. But yeah, so um, I think that's what we're gonna do next. We're gonna start to build a little base platform, like a ghetto base, kind of up in the sky. I'm gonna work on it and then I'll be your bees, peeps. And we're back and uh, rebuilt some stuff and things. And I also learned some cool stuff and things. So over here, you'll see we have that anima, anima skill. And that is actually something that is used um, in as a, like a requirement for using certain tablets. And we can build different tablets later on. Some of them just give us like powers, basically like water breathing, all sorts of different stuff like that. But you get it just from breaking plants. And so I figured out that if we just do this, you can like farm it. Basically, let's see here. I don't know if there's like a limit or what the story is. I mean, we can just kind of do it like this and I'm assuming after a while this really wouldn't be good. But if we needed to, and like right now we really, you know, it's not a big deal, we don't need to do that. But if we needed to, we could do that in order to kind of get some levels and do some stuff and things. Then I started doing a little research, trying to figure out what's going on with these glistening infusion stones. Some more of those Pixon spawned in, I may, or had my stone bowl still. And I started uh, doing a little research on that. So I do believe we need two amethyst ingots and some obsidian. I've got a bunch in here now. And we should be able to make the infusion table. You go ahead and go like this, like that. Nailed it, iced it, can't be stopped. We made the infusion table. All right, this is really cool. I don't really know how this is gonna work, but let's go ahead and play around with it. So we're gonna take our infusion table. We will squirt it right, it doesn't matter. Perfect, nailed it. So then we will, can we squirt a torch on there? Really cool, it looks like a face. But don't be afraid. So I think, okay, we do, it doesn't have any sort of internal inventory. We should be able to just do like this. Ooh, it made a noise. And I guess there's a rare, oh, we got something. What was that? Oh, we're getting this level up. Infusion, okay. Now there's a rare chance we probably won't be able to get it. That we're gonna get a power stone out of this. Boy, it's not loud. Okay, we didn't get one, and um, which really stinks. It would have been way better for the video if we had. So um, yeah, he he. So uh, but that'll allow us to get those power stones, I do believe, and that can help us to get some enchanting done. So we definitely want to carry our stone bowl around with us everywhere we go. So if we see any pixons, we can go ahead and harvest that. All right. So now we've got our stone stuff and things. We got all this in here, and now we can just start doing some stuff, making some. It's very simple slabs. I want to do some slabs, build a little spot, a safe place where we don't have to worry about constantly being under attack. Um, we kind of have a spot inside of here, but I don't necessarily think this is like the best spot to be in. I think we need to kind of be out and about. Well, we're going to have to cover it though, I think too, because of the spawns that happen at night and all of that. Um, I did take a look around a little bit, kind of trying to figure out, thinking about, I know there's a lot of desert over in this area where we're gonna make our base. 
Um, where the new canvas is going to be, I don't think we're ready to really find that yet. Um, I think that's something that we still got to think about looking around, you know what I mean, doing a bigger a search for. We're still kind of in the beginning stages. So... And we're back, and I've cleared out, oh, almost, all the stuff and things down here. And it's time to take to the sky. It's not super impressive, but it is the beginnings is of what will be some pretty great builds. I can't wait. So we just went ahead and made some chest local, chesty areas over here. We got a trash can right there, and you know what I mean? Crafter table, got some furnaces. We got our stuff over here. Our infusion table, enchanting table, our strictly, what is that? Slightly damaged anvil. I thought it said, thought it said strictly damaged anvil. And they put our banners up right there by our bed. So it's beginning to become a thing, ladies and gentle peeps. Actually learned a lot today. Started reading a little bit more of the wiki, figuring out more stuff and things about Advent. And I'm excited to kind of like get some more building stuff and things done. So yeah, guys, thanks very much for hanging out with me today. If you guys like the video, please don't forget to hit the like button. Feel free to share and favorite it as you see fit. May the stuff and things be with you.